All right. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to take turns, getting to know people. If somebody want to volunteer, please, please step up to the plate. And what's, what's going to happen is we're just going to ask some questions. We're going to highlight you in the Zoom. Let's see here. So we'll do it on speaker. We'll highlight you in the Zoom and we'll just ask some questions. We'll do some like real low key icebreaker questions first. And then depending on which way you answer, like we're going to ask you if you're uh, if you're looking for friends or if you're single and ready to mingle. And the the the, the uh, questions that proceed after that depends on which way you answer. But everybody's going to get the icebreaker questions, just ways for us to get to know who you are, where you're from, just basic stuff like that. That sound cool. Everybody OK with that? Y'all y'all feeling OK? Let me see here. And I'm going to call on some. Let me see here. Who we got here? Let me see if what's in it. No, he's not in here no more. He left. Man, I want to get uh, get Davis up here. Davis fled up out of here. Okay. Does anybody want to be a volunteer to, 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 to hop up and tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, just introduce yourself to the group? Woo. Tough crowd tonight. I don't mind volunteering. I'll go first. All right, go ahead, brother. So, so what's what's your name? Uh, well, my name is uh, my name is Nana. Um, I I came to Atlanta in July. Uh, I moved here from New York, but originally from Canada. Um, so I, I'm here for work. I'll be staying in Georgia for the next few, little while. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to meet people, get out there, uh, socialize a little bit more. Um, yeah. Okay, so how how old are you? I'm 39. 39. You got any kids? No kids. All right. We got brother Nana from New York, 39, no kids. So let me, let me ask you some icebreaker, so some, some light questions, Nana. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Uh, I think I would go to Singapore. Um, I was, uh, I met some people a couple of weeks ago telling me about Singapore and how good it is. And I've never been to Asia before. So it is one of my next places I'm trying to trying to get to. So yeah, then they were saying that Singapore is kind of like Asia light. So it's like a good little, good little icebreaker to get in, you know, to get get to know Asia a little bit. So okay. What what about Asia is appealing to you? Um, uh, I just haven't been there. And you know the the different cultures that, that I, I'd like to experience that kind of firsthand. Um, I think when I experience it over here on this side of the world might be a little bit watered down so i want to get like the you know the 100 percent you know you know cultural experience so okay okay so let me ask you this what would you rather people perceive you as being kind being smart or being attractive and why kind smart or attractive mm. I think that um, uh, I guess I I don't know. That's a good question. I think that like I can't pick all three, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I would want to be. Um, I'd want to be kind. I think being smart. Um, I mean, people can have intelligence, but they don't use it well. Uh, they don't use it, you know, for good. Um, and being attractive is, I mean, being attractive, I mean, beauty is in the eye of, of the beholder. So what's attractive to me might not be attractive to you, but I think kindness is something universal. If someone is a kind person, they're kind, you know, in all, all different settings. So yeah, I want people to think that I'm a kind person. Everything else will fall into place after that. Okay. Okay. So kind. Okay. All right, so here's a question I want to ask you. When it comes to uh, the meet the meet up here tonight, are you just looking for friends or are you single and ready to mingle? Uh, I'm single. I'm just looking for friends. <laughs> okay, single, <laughs> just looking for friends. All right, taking it softball. Okay, so we got Nana. He's just looking for friends right now from New York. Uh, so let me ask you this. So we're going to do some deeper questions now. Uh, uh -huh. So yeah. So let me ask you this. What is your greatest accomplishment and what are you still hoping to accomplish? Mm, greatest accomplishments. Um, 
I guess, um, I guess, I guess finishing med school, becoming a doctor, that's oh, my greatest yeah. accomplishment so okay. far. Uh, yeah. What I hope to do with it, I hope to, um, I mean, based on that, I want to go and, you know, be able to, uh, you know, give back to uh, my home country, well, my parents' home country, which is Ghana, mm. um, kind of do, you know, a lot of volunteer work back there. Uh, so that's something I'm, you know, trying to work on and trying to collaborate with some people um, here to kind of, you know, get something set up over there. Yeah, I'm hoping to uh, visit Ghana uh, later this year for my first time, first time to Africa. Uh, so I'm hoping, definitely hoping to uh, to visit there. It's a but, great uh, country. Gotta go. <laughs> um, and you 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 like a uh, you're into psychiatry, right? Because we had we we talked before. You're like a psychiatrist, right? Yeah, that's right. There you go. So if y'all know Nana, he, he'll pick your brain. He'll help you diagnose your uh, yeah. your mental health things. But try to catch him when he's on the clock, not when he's at meetup, just trying <laughs> to chill and have a good time and get to know people. All right, let me ask you, let me ask you one more quick question and get you off the hot seat. I know it could be a little pressure, but we're just trying to get to know people here. Uh, let's see uh, here. I try and I try to ask some deep introspective questions to just so we can kind of know, get a feel for people and who they are. All right. So let me ask you this. What makes your life feel purposeful? Uh, I think if I can, if I can help people and, you know, get people from, you know, get them from, you know, get them into uh, a better place from where, from where they started when I first met them. So I think that, um, yeah, you know, I think like, you know, dealing in, in, when I'm dealing in, in, in healthcare, when, you know, when I have patients who, you know, aren't well, you know, in whatever service I'm seeing them in, if they're leaving and they're in a better place, their health is, you know, health is better, health is improved, the families are happy, um, you know, that kind of gives me a feeling of, a feeling of fulfillment. Um, so I think if I can, if I can improve people's lives, I know it's kind of a generic answer, but if I can improve people's lives, then, you know, that gives me, you know, a better feeling about things. So that's good. That's good, man. So there we go. Y'all, we got brother Nana and uh, he be pulling up to events. Y'all. So if y'all, y'all come to an event, y'all see Nana, I think you're going to be at the, uh, the, uh, the bike yard boogie. Nah, I'm going to be out of town that weekend. Make that one, but so if y'all see Nana, just pull up to him, say what's up from New York. Uh, he's working on uh, finishing school. He's in, in psychiatry uh originally families from uh ghana and it's just a good brother man every time he he shows up man he's always personable and uh he's always down to have a conversation so welcome man it's, it's good to know these new things about you now and i appreciate you brother thanks for supporting me and being a part of it mm -hmm. no doubt all right all right there we go so nana broke the ice is there a lady that we can get to know we can go we can go guy girl guy girl guy girl as y'all can see that wasn't so bad right no, nobody's uh wasn't too, too too bad. Okay, all right. We got Tawana. We got Sister Tawana who uh who who made some some awesome meatballs the other night, and they were they were hitting at the uh, kickback we did. But uh, okay. So, what's your name? Uh, what part of Metro Atlanta are you in, and where are you from, Tawana? So my name is Tawana. I live in Sharpsburg, and I'm originally from Tacoma, Washington. Uh, Sharpsburg. That's on the west west end of town. Or East End? South, east of, down 85 South. Okay, 85 South of Atlanta. Okay, uh, let's see here. How old are you, Tawana? 43. Tawana's 43. Any children? Two. Oh! One in college and one <laughs> screaming on the game. I don't know if you heard them. There you go. You just had one. Uh, Ch Yeah, you know what? That would be a good strategy. Chelsea said, do we need to raise our hand? Yeah, we'll do that. We'll uh, we'll do like the hand raise if somebody, want if, if somebody wants to ask somebody a question. They can, uh, they can just raise their hand, or if they want to get in the queue to uh, introduce themselves, they can raise their hand that way as well, and we'll do it that way. That's a good, good, uh, good suggestion there, Chelsea. So let's see here. Okay, so those were the intro questions. We know a little bit about Tawana there. So let me ask you some icebreakers, Tawana. Let's see here. What's the most trouble you've ever been in? <laughs> Probably none. <laughs> None. You've been, not not even not in school or nothing. You were just like good, a good kid. 
Well, I probably didn't clean up and at home sometimes, and we get in trouble for that. But I didn't do too much. No, so no trouble with the law. No. So we run, we run your police report. We ain't gonna find nothing. Absolutely nothing. Not even a speeding ticket. I did get a warning once. Well, Swan, I got some news for you. We ran y'all's background check, and we're going to pull it up right here. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Look, go ahead. I promise you, you won't find anything. <laughs> All right. Tawana said she got a clean record, y'all. All right. So, Tawana, if you could travel anywhere, where would you go? I don't even know. I'm not well-traveled. Somewhere warm with mm -hmm. a beach and some water. Okay. Let's see, like, South America. Or the West Coast, if you want to try to stay in the States or or of Florida on the, you know, the panhandle there. All right, let me ask you one more. Or probably one of the islands. Islands, okay. Yeah. We gotta mm -hmm. we're gonna try to do a cruise in November, Tawana. You should come if you can if you can make it. Look, if I can get somebody to keep that kid in the back. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Well, it's gonna be like we're gonna try to do like a four, four day one, so it's not gonna be too bad, but I understand it could be uh it could be a, a, a somewhat of a, a challenge for that many, for that long. Let me ask you another icebreaker. What movie or show do you keep rewatching? Just right, Color Purple. <laughs> I see, I, Color Purple. I watch it every holiday around Christmas, Thanksgiving. I mm -hmm. don't know. It's a mental thing. Probably because yeah, I be good, there cooking. It's a good movie. My mom always stove. tell me. She said I, I used to watch uh, Color Purple with you when you when I was pregnant with you. That's my mom. She always say that. She said, I always watch uh, Color Purple when I was pregnant with you. All right, so Tawana, here's a question. Are you here to make friends or single and ready to mingle? Both. Um, okay. So Tawana's here for both. So I'll pull, I'll pull the questions from both. And Tawana's the only one I'm going to give this pass to because you can only answer one way, but I'm going to give Tawana, Tawana to be supporting the group heavy. So she, she gets a pass on this one. Let's see here. The, 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 let's see. The deep dive question I'll ask you here is what brings you joy? Cooking and crocheting. Cooking and crocheting. Okay. And Tawana's a hell of a cook, y'all. She made so, so far, you made a, a cake for us. That was like the highlight of one of our events. And you made those meatballs that was hitting. So Tawana be cooking her butt off. All right, so Tawana says she's uh, looking, she's ready to mingle as well. So what sort of man are you looking for, if you're looking for a man? Someone easy going laid back. Because um, I don't, I'm, I'm like a homebody, really. Mm -hmm. Going out the other night and to the few parties in here is the most I've done in years. Okay. Okay, so somebody who's laid back. Okay, I can see that. Uh, does height matter? Uh, yeah. <laughs> they got to be taller than me. <laughs> Just taller than you. How tall are you? Like 5'4". Five, 5'4". Four. Five, four. Okay, so that's not, that's not, it's not going to be hard. Long, you know, right. Be, okay, yeah, it's not hard to meet. And but, they can't want kids. I'm done with kids. I don't want to have any more. They can have them, but I just don't want no more. Okay, so they can't have kids, but they can have some, but they just got to be at a point in life where they don't want any more kids. Right. Okay. And Davis, Davis has messaged me on the back end. You're up next, Davis. We're going we gonna to call on you next because I know Davis is out here on, on, on the prowl too. Uh, do, does looks matter? Um, to an extent. They don't have to be like the flyest person. Mm-hmm. Okay, so looks matter to an extent. What about uh, does his income matter? No, the last person I dated didn't have a job. He was on Social Security. Okay, so income doesn't matter. Looks matter a little bit, but not so much. Height matters, but you just got to be taller than her. But Twana's only 5'4", so that's not, that's not hard. Uh, let's see here. So let me ask you this question. Who pays, who pays for the dates? Who pays for like the first, second, third dates? You know, I haven't been on a date. Even when I, but the last relationship I was in, I cooked all the time. Mm -hmm. He was at my house and I cooked. We played games at the house. We invited people over. We played board games. I cooked most of the time. I don't think I've been on a date because it was during the pandemic too. Mm -hmm. So it's so not a, uh, it's not something you think about all that much. It just is what it is. Like if y'all were to go on a date. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you you could be ideally 
in an ideal world, you could be comfortable going Dutch with somebody like yeah. everybody. Okay, okay. Uh, let's see here. And what makes you a good catch for the person you want? I know it's pretty deep. <laughs> it was. <laughs> Look, I was stumped. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm pretty nice, cool. I don't like confrontation. I like peace. Um, but I am direct. If something bothers me, I'll tell you up front so we can work on it. Mm -hmm. And you said it earlier too. Another thing I can give you, you, you can cook. So that's something, I think that's something that makes you a great. Yeah, because with my last boyfriend, every day before I got home, I would call him and say, hey, what do you want? Mm -hmm. And I would cook. But like he, he didn't work, but like he made shirts. He changed, he fixed my toilet twice. He changed my oil in my car. He planted me a little garden in the back. So he did his share. Anything I said I wanted, he figured out how to do it. Okay. Type of thing. It sounds like he was, uh, he had some ingenuity to him. So let, mm -hmm. let me ask you one more non, non uh, relationship question. What, what frustrates you or what keeps you up at night? Uh, I don't know. I sleep pretty good. <laughs> um, okay. I don't know right now, just trying to get my kid through school. This young one, he's we've been having a lot of racial issues they called him a monkey yesterday in school he's going through the whole terroristic threat with the high school kid because the high school middle school and elementary is on the same bus mm. so that's irritating me right now okay okay uh and if people want to like get uh get in contact with you Tawana what's the best way um well, dm me on if they're in group me message me on here and then we can exchange numbers if that's okay. what they're looking for you want, yeah. you want Instagram or anything? I am. Harris.Tawana. Harris.Tawana. There you go, y'all. So that's Tawana. Y'all, Tawana's real chill. Always be supporting the group heavy. Always uh, coming with great energy. So we just had a girl. Any guys? Any guys for the for the, for the, for the virtual uh, meet and greet? Thanks, Tawana. Ooh, these shy people. Let's see, let me see if we got any hands raised here. I'm gonna have to call on somebody. Cornelius, you like you like you ready to go, player? All right, we'll go ahead. <laughs> All right. All right. So uh what, what's your name, brother? What part of Atlanta are you in and where are you from? All right, I'm Cornelius. I'm from Houston, Texas. Um moved down here about three years ago. Okay. Okay. Cornelius from Houston, Texas, moved here about three years ago. How old are you? Got any children? I'm 36 and I don't have any kids. 36, no kids. Okay. Um, how, how'd you like Houston? It, it was really nice. It was extremely hot, a lot of tornadoes and bad weather. But other than that, it's a great place with a lot of diversity. Okay. Okay. So let me ask you some bite icebreakers, uh, Cornelius. Uh, what's the most trouble you've ever been in? <laughs> I always been labeled as the good boy. So uh <laughs> most trouble I've ever been in. Uh this is that's a tough one. At one at one point I used to work in corrections, my first job out of college, and you know, um I was accused of something I didn't do. Fortunately, I cleared my name, but just the thought of um you know, possible charges against me over something that was just made up. That was probably the most trouble. But of course, I got um everything wiped out. So that was good. But other than that, I can't really think of anything. A couple of speeding tickets, but other than that, nothing major. Oh yeah, okay. We got we got a good, a good, uh, a good group of folks here. Let me ask you another icebreaker question. Uh if you could meet anyone in the world, alive or deceased, who would it be and why? Hmm. 
although that I wasn't pretty much around, he was fighting. I, I was a big fan of Muhammad Ali. I always thought he was very inspirational. Um, just his confidence to me, it just really, it showed his character. Like no matter what fight he was in, on the videos that I watched, he was always confident that he was going to win no matter what. And it just, I guess it was just that swag that resonated with me. Okay, okay, I like that, I like that. All right, so here, here's a question. Uh, are you, uh, are you just looking for friends or single and ready to mingle? And you say you can't pick both. <laughs> um, I, first and foremost, I say friends. That's what I'm looking for because if it's a good friendship foundation, it'll lead to more eventually anyway. Okay, so that that almost sounds like a single and ready to mingle to me. <laughs> it almost sounds like it because it's, it's friendship, but with the the eventual, you ain't here to meet no dude. So we can we can go down we can go down the rabbit hole is what it, what it sounds like. So uh, what sort of man or woman, what, what sort of man or woman are you looking for? As far as women is concerned, just somebody who is genuine and kind and um, somebody that's just not egotistical, you know, if I'm going to look out for them, try to pursue the things that they enjoy to make them happy, I would expect, you know, be reciprocated on the other end. So just, you know, equal friendship. Like I said, friends first. I don't want to rush nothing because. Sometimes when people rush that first stage, that's when they make a lot of mistakes. At least that's what I've realized. But just somebody who's kind and genuine and, um, you know, looks out for me like I look out for them. Does a height matter? Oh, I'm, as a guy, I could care less about the woman's height, you know. So even if she's taller taller than you, it's not a problem. Shorter than you, it's not a problem. Um, It wouldn't be a problem as long as the person is not like, throw it in my face because you know I'm I'm under six feet so it's like <laughs> if they're okay with it I'm fine with it but if it's gonna constantly be brought up I would prefer somebody shorter than me how, how tall are you I'm five nine okay five nine you don't you don't have a preference if she's taller or shorter uh does weight or body shape matter like the woman it doesn't matter however it would all depend on what they're doing with that weight like if it's someone who is overweight, if they working out, you know, trying to make healthy conscious decisions, I could work with that. It's not an issue. But if it's just somebody who, you know, they could care less, they like the guy just need to accept me for who I am and they have some health issues, then yeah, that would be that would be tough. Okay, so a pan a pancake booties a go. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. <laughs> as long as it's exercise. <laughs> all right. So all right. Uh See, that's kind of kind of asked about looks there. Does does her income matter? No, nah, it, it doesn't matter as long as they're self-sufficient where they don't have to rely on me for everything. Okay. Okay. It's reasonable. Uh what about kids? Um, I would prefer um getting to know someone without kids, but it's not a deal breaker though. I know sometimes the people that's meant for you not gonna fit within the parameters that you always look. I would prefer no kids though, since I don't have any kids. All right, who who pays for uh dates like the first, second, or third day? Who who pays? Oh, me, me, of course. As the man, I feel like I should be paying. All right. What's uh let's see here. What's like your position on like sex within a relationship? You said like, sex within a relationship? Yeah. Or like before a relationship when dating or anything like that. Me, I come from a real spiritual background, so I've always been taught, you know, wait till you get married. So, you know, that that will be the ultimate goal. Um, definitely be trying to wait till I get married. But, you know, like I say, you're not perfect. But at the same time, that will, that will be the goal. I just put it out there like that. But I know it takes some, you know, work and due diligence and stay prayed up. But that's that's the, my stance on it. OK, yeah, that make that makes sense. That makes sense there. All right. Let's see here. And let's see here. Oh, what makes you a great catch for the person you want? Well, I would say I'm definitely open-minded to a lot of things. I know like in my past, I've done things way out of my comfort zone um, just to try to make the other person happy. So I'm stretchable, I'm moldable in some certain aspect i mean my character still gonna be my same with my foundations and stuff but i'm not closed-minded to getting to know the person and exploring some of their same opportunities plus um 
this might be a con, but I, I like to work a lot. I'm a workaholic. I'm working on getting better at it, but um, I do feel like I could contribute and help and, you know, form that partnership when that time comes. Yeah. A lot of ladies be asking me, like, they be asking, like, where are the guys at? And I'm like, a lot of guys who, who are about something, they at work. They're working. So that's where, that's where the guys be at sometimes. They just be working. So it's like, it's not that, you know, there are no guys. It's a lot of them just be working. But let me, let me ask you one more non-relationship question. Uh, where was that at? What did I want to ask you? Oh, yeah. What, uh, let's see, what's your greatest accomplishment? That's tough. It's two of them. <laughs> so I, I, I have the name two. Um, the first one will be getting my master's degree. I um, have a master's degree in recreation management. Um, and I think it's the greatest accomplishment for me because I was that college kid who I was on scholarship for track and that freshman year, things didn't work out too well. So I was getting the letter sent to my parents' house about academic probation. And I remember working in a warehouse over the summer, long story short, and that, that, that 12 hour shifts just wore me out. So going back to school and getting re-motivated and getting into grad school and getting that master's, I think that was one of my greatest accomplishments. Um, but that's equally tied into also, um, I, I, I do a lot of running. So I had tore my ACL and meniscus and the rehab wasn't coming along well. And I didn't think I was going to ever run again, but, you know, I'm back at, you know, getting in some road races and stuff. So just being able to be mobile and not giving up on his knees. So I would say that would be an equally important accomplishment for me. All right. That's what's up. So we got brother Cornelius. He's from uh, Houston. Uh, he's been here about three years. He um, he's uh, seems like he's a he's a he's a he's a solid 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 brother, man. Hope you can make it out to some of our meetups and stuff, Cornelius. If people want to uh, reach out to you, man, get to know you more. Uh, what's the way they can do that? You got an Instagram, a Facebook, a Twitter, anything like that, or or just hit you up on Meetup or or Group Me or whatever. What's the best? Yeah, way I'm not really not really on the social media, but they, I'm on this meetup. So they can, I guess they call it DM or message me on that. that that'll work. Yep. If y'all, is your name uh, Cornelius on meetup? It is. Okay. Yeah. So if y'all go to this event and y'all, y'all want to reach out to Cornelius, make a connection, just uh, hit, hit him up. You'll see him in the, uh, the list of attendees. Thanks Cornelius for pulling up, man. Hope to see you at a, a meetup in the future. Now, uh, with the uh, ladies with the hands up, did y'all have did any? If any of y'all had a question for Cornelius, that y'all can ask, or if y'all just wanted to go and introduce yourselves, uh, we can just go down the line there. Nobody had a question for Cornelius. All right, Mercedes, what's up with you? Introduce yourself. Where are you from? How old are you? Hi, um, my name is Mercedes. Mercedes Lewis. I'm from originally from Virginia, Virginia Beach area i'm 33 virginia stand up i'm from virginia yeah, too. Seven, five, seven. <laughs> okay you're 33 any children no no children okay let me ask you some icebreakers mercedes uh, what do you need more of in your life more yeah what do you need more of it could be something silly it, can, it don't have to be nothing serious it can be like more discipline it could be more uh more good food, more traveling, you know, stuff like that. Definitely more travel. I um, got my passport back in 2020 and I haven't been able to go anywhere. Okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> so um, definitely that is actually um, on my to-do list this year is to travel more. So I'm definitely, hopefully maybe get, maybe, maybe go, go out, out of the country, but um, travel is definitely on the top of the list. All right. Uh, would you rather people perceive you as being kind, smart, or attractive? I'll say kind because um, first people will always would think that I'm mean or stuck up. So that's one thing that I, I, you can, you can always, you know, work on being smart and attractiveness is kind of subjective. I think um, being kind is the one thing that you can, you really can't hide. They, you, you, get, you either are or you aren't. So mm -hmm. being definitely important. Okay. And uh, if you had the whole day where you could do anything you wanted, what would you do? Like anything? Mm -hmm. Um. Well, definitely. Um. Well, definitely, like travel somewhere and just learning the area, like like maybe like Costa Rica or even maybe Jamaica. 
I know a lot, I definitely want to go to Africa, but I want to get my feet wet first. Mm-hmm. But definitely just learning um, the area, sightseeing. Okay, one more question. How long you been in, in, in uh, Georgia? 11 years. Okay, so you've been here a little, little minute by way of Virginia. So let me ask you this, Mercedes. Uh, you, you looking for friends? You just looking for friends? Or are you, you single and ready to mingle right now? I'm single and ready to mingle. All right, we got, we got a brave part in here. All right, so let me ask you this. What sort of man are you looking for? Man or woman? Um, the man I'm looking for. <laughs> the you man just gotta I'm ask, you know, people, you know, people have different preferences. It's no, you oh, know. Um what I am looking for, someone that is outgoing, caring, um understanding, compassionate, consistent. Okay, does height Everything matter? Else. No, I'm five one. Everyone's everyone's taller than me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so height's not a big deal. So no, it's not a factor. Did you have some more stuff you want to say for a sort of man you look for? I feel like I almost cut you off. Um, employed. Um, someone that probably makes as much as me. Then again, it, it, might, it may not be a factor. I just want to meet someone that's kind of like, like my equal. So that's it. Okay. Okay. Uh, does, does uh, looks, weight, or body shape matter for a guy? No. So he could be slim, he could be big. I've dated them all. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, I don't discriminate. All right. And you said you said income. You just want him to kind of be where you're at. Mm-hmm. Uh, you you like uh well I guess that's too personal ass, but so income you just want him to be where you're at. You like in the uh you you blue collar uh a white collar person. Like what what do you what do you do for work? I'll say blue collar. Um. I work for Wellstar, so um, I'm a um, academic partnership coordinator. So I coordinate schedules for like medical students and nursing students. So um, someone, I guess, around that area, if it makes sense, I have a master's in health administration. So okay, I guess yeah. in this sense of like income around that. Right. Yeah, that's the only reason I want to ask because somebody could, we can say, uh, you know, just more to me. Well, it's kind of it may be hard to gauge. Like, what do you do? Are you 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 know you could be a a brain surgeon or something like that but uh does a uh, number of children matter no like does have no it doesn't matter so you can have kids no you know um it doesn't matter if he has kids or or has i guess the number does matter in the sense of how old they are but um having kids or having multiple kids is not a factor okay do you have any children no. I forgot to ask. Okay. Uh, what's your, like, who pays for, like, the first, second, or third dates? Preferably the man, but I feel whoever asks the person, whoever asks, whoever asks to go out on a date should, should pay, but no pressure either way. Okay, you feel like the man, but there's no pressure either way, but yeah. mainly whoever asks to go on a date should be the one that pays. Mm-hmm. Initially. Okay. Initially, yeah. Okay, like what's your uh, position on like sex when dating and stuff like that? If, if the chemistry there, then it'll happen. If not, it's cool, but I'm not against it. Okay, and I ask these questions. I know I know people are like, man, it's kind of personal, but this, this, these are things that are important to people. You know, if, if a person's waiting until marriage, other people, you know, people want to know that. If people aren't waiting, people want to know that. If, uh, you know, so it's kind of like, it's something that pe- folks want to know. So I think it's, and, a, it's, it's and, important. And also a lot of people kind of tiptoe around that. Like they want to, um, they kind of way too late to ask and then they over there looking silly. So I think it's good to know. <laughs> right. <laughs> then later. So right. you already know what you're into. Exactly. So let, let me ask you this. What makes you a good catch for the person you want? Um, I'm an outgoing person, caring, um, the same thing I ask of myself is, is the same thing I'm able to give to that person. So if I want someone to be caring, I'm gonna be caring towards them. Um, real laid back for a family oriented person. I like to spend time with my family or when they're here, but um, just overall outgoing. Okay, uh, let me ask you one non-relationship question, Mercedes. Uh, let's see, what do you really care about? Like what's important to you? Um, 
first is spending time with family. Um, and then second will be giving back, um, not necessarily financially, but um, giving back or getting, getting involved with your community, like helping the youth, um, volunteering, just giving back. That's um, been my, my focus for this year is, is to give back in, in different ways that I can. And it's not necessarily financially, but just getting more involved. Okay. And uh, somebody asked a question, is Cornelius in the group me? I'm not sure if Cornelius is in the group me, but uh, he, he's, he's on meetup and he said, you know, y'all can just, uh, if y'all want to hit him up, you just do it there. Uh, uh, what's, if somebody wants to reach out to you, what's up, Dan? That's Dan. <laughs> if somebody wants to reach out to you, uh, Mercedes, how would they do that? What's the best way they can get in contact with you? Um, group me and meetup. You can group send me a direct message. Okay, there we go. There we go. Thanks, Mercedes. And Mercedes is a sweetheart, y'all. She she been rocking with the group a while. I, li I like Mercedes. All right. So we, we just had a girl. Let's see if we can get a guy in there. Any guys wanna wanna step up to the plate? The, the ladies are brave tonight. Let's see what we can get some guys up here. Let's see here. Dan, can we get Dan? What about you, Dan? You wanna wanna nah? All right, so I I guess I just do it for the fun of it. <laughs> all right so dan what uh let's see here let's see what so you do your name uh you talk about what part of metro atlanta you're in and where you from all right so uh all right so first of all nice to meet y'all my name dan how y'all doing tonight hi dan yeah and uh <laughs> i live in lithia springs right now and uh and what else? Uh, where are you from? I'm from Philly. From Philly. Okay, we got Philly in the house. How old are you and do you have any children? I'm 27. I got six kids. <laughs> Dan's 27 with six kids from Philly. Yeah, with, well, well uh, with six with six baby moms. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that's that's a joke if, if y'all ain't know. So so Dan has a sense of humor. Uh let's see here. So I'm gonna ask you some icebreakers, Dan. What's the most trouble you've ever been in? The most trouble? Uh, shit. Mm. The most trouble? I, I, I'm, 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 I'm actually a good boy. I don't, I don't really get in trouble. So, you know, I can't really, I can't really think of nothing right now. You've never, never been in the back of a police car? Well, I, well, that was when I was like 17. It was some minor cops beat the shit out of me, but, uh, that's a story for another day. You know? All right, there we go. Let me ask you another icebreaker, Dan. I see because I see you at work, and I don't want to hold you up too much. Hold you up too much, Dan. Let's see here. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? If I could travel anywhere, uh, I say Brazil. Okay. All right, Brazil. Yeah, because uh, because the, the women, man, I'm telling you, the women is crazy out there. <laughs> All right. All right. So I'm I guess so, so, let, so. Let me ask you this, Dan. You uh you uh you single and ready to mingle, or are you uh just looking for friends right now? You see, I'm not gonna lie. It kind of just depends. It kind of just depends on the you know, on the day. Sometimes I'll be ready to mingle. You know, sometimes I just be want I, I just be left alone. You know. All right. I'm gonna but, take uh, these, these nondescript answers, y'all. I'm taking those as the ready to mingle answers because <laughs> it seems like nobody just wants to just to outright say it. So let me ask you this, Dan. What sort of woman are you looking for? Uh, somebody that's really, uh, you know, somebody that I vibe with. I don't really got no, I'm not about to give them my whole list. I ain't about to create like a whole list of things that I'm, you know, that I'm looking for. Somebody that, that I just vibe with pretty much. Like, uh, I don't got too many rules. Or right, does uh, height matter? Height, weight, or body shape matter? I'm not gonna lie, she can't be taller than me because that like that that's gonna be embarrassing. <laughs> How tall are you? Five eight. All right. Uh what about weight? Weight, she cannot be overweight. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so can't be overweight. Can't uh, be taller. Than, I said so she can't be overweight, can't be taller than you. Uh does her income matter? Uh, not too much, you know. 
we going to come up together. So I, I, I ain't really tripping on that. Okay. I can respect that. I'm sure ladies can respect that too. What about uh, children? Like, does she have children or not have children? I don't do kids. Nope. No kids. So no kids. Uh, what about age? Uh, does like her age matter? Age? I yeah, say, like I don't really like, I don't really like older than 35, but you know, depending on how she look, I might can make an exception, but you know, that's just, hey. All right, so not older than 35, Dan's 37. What about as young as, the, you got a, a thing for, what about how, how young or she can well, be? Well, I'm 27, so. So she, how she can be how old? Oh, just any age? Any well, no, age you legal. No, you said I was 37. I'm, well, I'm, I'm, I'm at, yeah, I'm at 27, my bad. Uh, what's your what's like your position on who pays for like uh dates? All right, so I believe honestly, I believe she should pay for the first date. You do? I mean, I, yeah, I just feel like I'm the prize. No, I'm playing. But no, of course, <laughs> of, course of course, I of course I pay for the first date. You know, for the first date. What about after that? How does it how does it go from there? I mean, I don't, I don't have a problem with paying for dates. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> So you don't have a problem paying, but uh, okay, okay. But yeah, you pay for the first one. So what makes you a good catch? Or what's your position on sex? Like uh, while dating, in a relationship, marriage, et cetera. I really just, uh, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I ain't, you know, I can't, I can't deal with nobody that's celibate or, uh, you know, somebody that's making me wait too long. I mean, I'm not in a rush. Like, like I wouldn't be in a rush to have sex, but you know, what's uh, what's too long? Too long? I say like two months. Two months. Would y'all be in a relationship at that point? No. <laughs> okay. I mean, I mean, like, come on now, like, like a relationship. I say that's like uh, like six months or more. Probably like, probably like closer to a year. Like for for um for you to really get to know somebody, for them to, you know, for, for y'all to be compared. Well, I don't, I don't want to use the wrong word, but for y'all to really know if y'all want to be in a relationship or not, I say like closer to a year. Okay. So uh, within like after around two months, it should be going down relationship, maybe a year in. And, yeah. Uh, but before, before that, uh, sex, sex has to be on the table. Of course. Yes, and so one one lady has a question for you. We'll let, we'll let her get her question in. She just she just uh, direct messaged me. Uh, let's see here. So let me ask you this, Dan. What uh, what makes you a good catch for the person you want? Oh, good. Oh man. So y'all got another hour. <laughs> hmm. So uh, damn, I can't even. Damn. Like it's like I I don't even know where to start. I mean, first, I mean, first. You know, uh, you know, I got a great personality. I mean, like, I, I don't really like to brag and nothing like that because, you know, I don't want to sound like I'm full of myself. But, you know, first, I have a great personality. I'm going to definitely make you laugh. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm amb like, I'm amb like really, really ambitious. You know, I'm a, uh, you know, I'm going to have my investments popping off and, you know, a host of other things that I'm going to, you know, that I'm gonna have for myself. And I'm also, you know, the intersect that I ain't got no kids. You know, I'm 27, I ain't got no kids, my own spot, a nice little whip. Ain't nothing crazy, but it's it's a 2022, you know, so I guess I could brag about that too. Yeah, for sure. You know, and uh, you know, and like it's it's a whole lot of other things. I don't like I, I feel kind of weird. Right. You know, kind of propping myself up, but you know, you. Just, we just oh. yeah, we just trying to give people a vibe of who people are, and it seems like a lot a lot of ladies really digging you, man. They digging your sense of humor. So if, if people want to uh, get in contact with you, Dan, how how could they do that? Hmm. All right, so uh, see, I, I I would put my number on here, but I don't want anybody blowing me up. Right. Yeah, this so, will be on YouTube too. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So uh, y'all can follow me. I mean, I guess y'all can follow me on uh, Instagram. Dan Sinatra, it's spelled Dan, and the Sinatra got two T's on it. Spell okay? that, spell the Sinatra out. S I N A T T R A. All right. 
at Dan Sinatra on Instagram. Uh, 27, no kids, originally from Philly. Uh, y'all y'all heard everything that Dan's looking for, man. Dan says he's single, ready to mingle. Sometimes he in the mood, sometimes he ain't, depending on how, depending on how you catch him. He's looking for a vibe. Make sure y'all, the vibe is right. Uh, so he, he, you know, he doesn't seem like he's, he's that particular, but the vibe just has to be there. It has to be right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, you say you ain't really looking for that. No, you just say you depend on how, how y'all vibe. So, so that's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, thanks, Dan. I was laughing, I was laughing at the message, my bad. <laughs> What's up, Natalie? So Natalie just pulled, Natalie's supposed to be my co-host for the night, but I knew she would, uh, she would, she would pull up late. You got anything to say, Natalie? You see what we, what we about? You see what we got going on here? I didn't know I was co-hosting. You ain't told me I was co-hosting, so don't put that on me. There we go. There we go. (laughs) How you starting not tell me if I'm co-hosting then? I did. I told you a while ago. Okay. Yeah, we can we can pull it. I can pull I can pull receipts, but it's it's all good. We we making it work. Let's see here. So let me uh we so we just had a fella. All right. Now we got a lady, Chelsea. What's up, Chelsea? Chelsea got her hand raised. You still around? Oh, my bad. I was on mute. <laughs> All right. No, no problem. So what's your name? And we just said your name, Chelsea. So, uh, so what's your name? What part of Atlanta are you in and where are you from? Uh, well, well my name is Chelsea. Uh, I am in Ackworth, um, on the part that's like right at the borderline of Kennesaw and Woodstock. And I was born in Texas, but I was a Air Force brat, so been all over the place but was raised here okay how old are you do you have any children i am 35 no kids 35 no kids uh she's in ackworth right now her name is chelsea we got some icebreakers for you chelsea oh, okay so somebody did have a question for dan hold on dan you still dan you still up here sorry chelsea i forgot to ask that question did dan pull off dan was at work y'all so he might have had to split now, Dan's still here. Dan, so, Dan, the question is, if you can answer real fast, Dan, why do you think two months is enough time? Why does he think two months is enough time? Two, well, I mean, like, it really, like, it really should be shorter than that, honestly. I mean, because, I mean, because, like, if the vibe is there, like, why wait? All right, here we go. Like, I mean, like, both feeling each other like why wait like I, I i really don't understand it you know what i mean like i, I, I understand that like, the first night or the first week but i mean like it's it's two it's two whole months like why wait there we go that's your that's your answer so since so i'm host and i got a question um can you, can you, can you put your camera on? is there any way you get the <laughs> camera on for the people now <laughs> Hold on, are, is six of those weeks like a grace period? Is that what it is? Like, I just need to know where the two months came from. That I'm sorry, what was that? You said six weeks. Like you said, two months. So I said, is six weeks of those two months like a grace period? Is that you were being generous with the time? Like I'm trying to figure out why two months. I mean, honestly, all right. Let me, all right. Let me, let me, let me, let me say this. Two Let's months. Not take too much time away from Chelsea. If you could just. Uh... Answer that real quick for her, Dan. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm gonna just keep it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it short and simple. Well, honestly, two months is a little too long. Like this kind of cutting it close. But uh, I say, what between like a month, month and a half, you know, that's 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 like that's when it should happen. Honestly. Gotcha. There we yeah. go. That, that's his answer. Well, we got we got to respect the man's answer. You know, just like you take it or take it or leave it at this point. <laughs> but thanks, Dan. Uh, let's see here. Uh, oh, Chelsea. So we, we got to get some icebreakers for Chelsea. Let's see here. So what would you rather be perceived as being kind, smart, or attractive? Um, on one hand, like I feel like most people are going towards the kind thing, which – I do believe that kindness is important. Um, I think for me, I would probably give an edge to smart. Mm -hmm. Uh, Just because I am, um, I'm a sapiophile slash sapiosexual. And so I, like, I feel like being smart would attract other smart people. 
So, um, so, so sapial file is somebody that's uh, attracted to another person's intellect or a person who's intelligent. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm slow, Chelsea. So, so I gotta, you know, gotta break it down, break it down for me. Uh, let's see here. So if you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Oh, I have a bucket list. Um, I'm going to say uh, Tahiti has been on my mind lately. So let's, let's go with that. Okay. Tahiti. And let's see here. If you could meet anyone in the world, alive or deceased, who would it be and why? Uh, I, I like the first person that came to mind was Elon Musk. Like, I don't know, like part of me, just, I just want to like sit down uh, over like drinks and dinner and just talk to him and pick his brain and then just like laugh because he's like a hot damn mess, but he's like super smart. He's like a mm. twisted genius. I think it would be a great conversation. Okay. Okay. And I see the sex, it seems like the sex thing is kind of get Dave and still going. Uh, David said, if you're seeing each other a couple of days out the week, for two a month straight, I feel like you know if you want to be intimate with that person or not. I'm with Dan. Okay, so it seems like some of the guys are on the same page there with the sex thing. So let me uh, ask you this question, Chelsea: Are you single and ready to mingle, or are you just looking to, to make friends right now, platonic friends right now? I am single and ready to mingle, but. I think right now I'm taking a more passive approach. Maybe in like a, another month or so, I might be a little more active about it, but. All right, so single and ready to mingle. So what sort of man or woman are you looking for? Um, I think the biggest things that are, are important to me are um, honesty, transparency, um, and great communication skills. Um, I feel like a, a big reason that relationships fail is because of people. I don't know if it's like a, a fear of, of being hurt or um, particularly with black men, like being conditioned to not, um, you know, be vulnerable and express their, their emotions. Um, and so that, that, that plus the, the communication issues, I think are a big reason that relationships fail. So I would say um, transparency, openness, and and communication. Great okay. communication. Okay. Uh, does height matter? It does. Okay. So what what are we talking? <laughs> um, I'm flexible on that. Um, I'm five seven, so I definitely prefer that men be taller than me. Um, but. Like, I don't have to be like six feet and taller. Um, so just taller than me would be preferable. Okay, so five, seven and a half and up, you're, you're in there with Chelsea. <laughs> uh, does weight, does weight or body shape matter or looks? Does weight, body shape or looks matter? Um, I mean, I would, as far as looks, like I feel like I need to be attracted to you. But, um, but I mean, as far as like, body weight and shape like I think somebody had said um that really it just depends on what they're they're doing with it so like um I mean like me for example like I'm actively working on getting in better shape like I'm probably in the gym like five days a week so mm. and I wouldn't say that like the person that I'm with has to do the same, but to me, it's like a mindset and, and, um, and making an effort to better yourself, whether it be for, you know, you want to feel like you look better or you want to just feel better, you know, health issues. Like I would love to be with somebody where it's just like, we can encourage each other and like, Hey, let's go hiking or let's go to the gym together or something like that. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Does income matter? I'm flexible on income. Um, I understand that nowadays um, women often make more money than men. My last relationship, he made less money than me. Um, but 
for me, what's most important is that you can provide for yourself, um, that you can save, that you can do the things that you enjoy doing and that you need to do um, and not be going paycheck to paycheck, you know, like, hey, I'm in, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars in debt because that's not something that I bring to the table. Mm -hmm. So I would... I mean, again, you don't have to make as much money as I do, but I would hope that you can, you know, cover things yourself and, and be an asset in a relationship instead of a liability. Okay, that's, that's reasonable. And oftentimes a lot of these conversations and stuff we'd be hearing online, a lot of men's perception of women and the things that women want to look for. Uh, if you ask us, we, uh, let's see here. Somebody just messaged me. I'm trying to see. Da, 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 da. So Zoom keeps putting her hand down. Okay, we'll get you in there next. If just uh, just remind me if you can. Um, a lot of times with online stuff, we think that a lot of men are under the impression that women are looking for a guy that's six feet, six figures, and whatnot. But just talking to a lot of ladies in my personal life and here tonight, that's not really a uh, that's not really a thing like that. It seems like in in the real world. So I think some guys can take heart heart with that. So who pays for dates, Chelsea? Like who pays for dates? I think it's a give and take. Like my my general thing when I'm meeting somebody for the first time is I want it low key casual. Like let's meet up for coffee. I can pay for my coffee. You can pay for your coffee. Like because to me, like if you have these high expectations, you know, particularly financially of of a first date. I mean, what if you don't even like them? What if they don't like you? I mean, you're not going to be everybody's type, and and that's okay. So I feel like just going into it on like a, hey, let's just meet, see if we vibe, you know, kind of like on a, on a casual friend level. And then if it's a good vibe, then like we can do a, a second date. Who pays? <laughs> like who pays for the second date? Um, I mean, if we go Dutch on the first date, I my general expectation would be that the guy paid for the second date. But I mean, after, after that point, oh, I think part of it also is like, who's asking? I mean, I'm probably not going to ask for a second date. <laughs> like I have been, I have done the first initial, like, cause I don't really like wasting my time. Um, like some people be talking online for two, three, four weeks. Like, I just want to know if we even have a connection and mm -hmm. take it from there. So like, I have in the past just been like hey let's meet for coffee um and then after that i'm like throwing the ball in your court like so i probably wouldn't ask for a second date anyway but anyway my my expectation would probably be that the guy asked you know invites me out to the second date he pays and then from that point um like i feel like it's it's a it's a give and take like right. i've there have been times where i paid for a date um, especially if it's a place that I'm just like, cause I'm a foodie. So if there's some place I'm just like, Hey, I really want to check this place out. Let's go. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody just messaged me. You're doing a great job. What an interesting experience. Enjoy, enjoy your night. Thank you. Thank you so much. Aww, uh, nice. let me, uh, let me ask you this, uh, Chelsea, what's your, I'm going to step away. And I, I, I ran out of my juice, so I'm gonna go get some juice, but I'm gonna ask you this question before I go. Uh, what's your position on like sex while dating relationship? What's your, what's your position? So I was um, kind of similar to Cornelius. I was raised uh, where it's like no sex before marriage. Um, that lasted until I was I think 19. So I I would, I would try not to um, lead with sex off the bat because I do believe that it can cloud your judgment. Um, you know, it's, it's a lot better to, in my opinion, to get to know somebody without having sex, um, you know, at the, at the forefront because it's easy to see through rose colored glasses. Uh, when sex is involved. Um, but if the vibe is there and, um, and things are progressing and we're both on the same 
page, I can't say that I wouldn't be open to it or even potentially initiated. Before relationship, after relationship, or just just depends on the vibe. It depends on the vibe. All right, there we go. Uh, did you have any questions for uh, Chelsea, Nat? Yes, I do. Um, so she said that um, she would go with the word smart to describe her. Is she also looking for a man that has a degree as also or just the smart on her level? So like the education level uh, right. factor, Chelsea? Oh, um, I mean, you don't have to have a degree to have a, a good career. I mean, you could have a... Um, uh, what is it like certificates or something? Yeah, like a vocational certificate. Yeah. Um. And so when I say smart, like I don't even I don't necessarily mean book smart. Like I like to have deep conversations. I am full of just random knowledge. Um. Just because I like researching things, and um. And so it's. It's kind of, it's kind of hard to describe. Have you ever heard of the, the Myers Briggs? That's it all. Natalie, I told you I'm, I'm a dumb. No, I haven't. Sorry. I think I've, I've heard, heard of that Chelsea. before. <laughs> yeah. So it's, um, I mean, they have, I guess, these letters um, where that describe like if you're introverted or extroverted, um, if you're mm. intuitive or um, a sensor, um, if you're like more organized or more more flexible and, and stuff like that. Um, and so I would say, oh yeah, somebody just said ESTJ. So I, as every time I've taken the test, I've been an INTJ. Um, and so to me, like I vibe best with people who have that in, that intuitive piece where we can just mm -hmm. like talk about anything and everything. And, but then there are some people who I have conversations with where it's just like, kind of like on the surface, kind of small talk. Like I'm a very, a very much a, a big picture, um, like kind of future-minded, deep or whatever type of person. So that's, I think what I mean by like a sapiosexual, like I just enjoy having these, these great conversations. Um, and to me, that's different than book smart. If mm -hmm. that answers your question. Yeah, yeah, it does. Thank you. All right. Uh, somebody, D Dana asked a good question, Chelsea, and I got one more question for you, but let me get Dane's question there because he said, how long can a guy be with you before you expect a proposal or marriage? So <laughs> I have always told anybody that I've, uh, that I've dated, like once we got past, like once we've gotten a few dates in or whatever, I'm like, you got two years <laughs> and that's it. And I have said it, um, I mean, kind of jokingly, but kind of serious. Um, but I personally feel like, I feel like it takes like a good six months to, to really get to know somebody. Um, now to counteract what the, the other guy said, I don't feel like it takes six months to determine if you want to be in a relationship with them. But I do feel like it takes um, a good six months to really get to know somebody, you know, potentially up to a year. Um, but I don't feel like it needs to take three, four, five, six years to determine if you want to marry somebody. If you haven't figured that out within two years, then either you're not ready or you just don't want to marry them. So. All right. Let me ask you this, last, this final question. Somebody said they got to run, but they're going to watch the playback and see, because if they see somebody think it's cute and it's, it's uh, I'm not going to say the person's name, but they said they're going to watch the playback and see, uh, see where your head's at person so uh yeah so folks is watching y'all uh let's see here so what makes you a good catch chelsea for the person that you want what makes you a good catch for the person you want um so i could i could sit there and go on about i guess kind of like things in the natural um i mean i i have an established career um i am a, a property owner multiple times over. Um, I, I mean, those are just kind of natural things, but 
Um, I am a great communicator. I have a great heart. Um, I have worked a lot on myself. Um, I've gone through a lot of therapy <laughs> to, um, you know, get past um, and heal from certain things that have that have happened in my past. I'm a strong believer in um, therapy and um, and I have become a lot more patient and um, and learned to compromise over the years. Um, and yeah, that's, I think, I think that's really the, the things that come to mind. All right. All right. Reasonable answers. Uh, very, very well thought out and informed. Thank you, Chelsea. If people want to get in contact with you, Chelsea, what's the best way? Um, I'm in the group me and I'm on meetup. Um, I don't have Instagram Snapchat. I don't even know all the little social media sites nowadays. Uh, but I have a Facebook, but I keep that kind of private. So there yeah, I would say meet up or group me. Meet up or group me. Y'all can just scroll through the attendees and y'all find Chelsea. Or thank you so much, Chelsea. Thanks. So y'all, we've been going about an hour and 10 minutes. Uh we'll go about 30 minutes more or so. Give uh give folks a chance to kind of to, to kind of uh step up to the hot seat. And we might have to do this another another time just because uh you know, you know, I know how this day and age folks' attention spans are short. But we so we just had a lady. Do we have any other guys who want to introduce themselves to the group? Let's see here. Let me pull it out to the gallery, see who we got. Let's see anybody, any, any fellas, any fellas. We just had a lady. Let's see, we got brother Andre on camera. Andre, you wanna you wanna uh you wanna introduce yourself to the people? Sure. Hey, All right. Uh, <laughs> so uh, so hey, what we're everybody. doing, Andre, I don't know how long you've been tapped in. We'll do your name, uh, what part of Metro Atlanta you're from, and where are you from? <clears throat> um, name is Andre. Um, what was the next question? Uh, what part of Metro Atlanta are you in, and where are you from originally? Um, right now, I like, live in the uh, Snell, like, little Snellville, Loganville area. Mm -hmm. um, and um, so, like, I was raised in Virginia Beach, but I was born in, like, Bethesda, Maryland. Okay, yeah, we got a lot of Virginia heads in here tonight, man, from Virginia, too. How, how old are you and any children? Uh, 36 and no kids. 36, no kids. Okay, we got a lot of 30s in here, too. Uh, no kids, uh, 36 from uh, Maryland, by way of Maryland, born in Virginia. Let me ask you some icebreakers, Andre. Uh Let's see here. Would you rather be, I like this question. Would you rather people perceive you as being kind, smart, or attractive? I'm mostly kind. I've, um, I, uh, a little nervous here. I, uh, uh, yeah, mostly kind. Okay. All right. If you could meet anyone in the world, alive or deceased, who would it be and why? I um uh, I think I would like to uh I don't, not to be too personal, but I'd I'd like to uh get my father back. Okay. So uh re reunite with your father. Yeah. All right. Uh what movie or show do you keep rewatching? Um what movie or show I keep? I keep, I keep watching South Park. <laughs> All right. All right. So let me ask you this, Andre. Are you uh, just here uh, trying to find platonic friends or are you single and ready to mingle? Right, right now, starting off as, uh, starting off as, uh, as, as friends, trying to, you know, get my, get myself out there, uh, be more outgoing, starting with this group. Okay. So you're not, you're not dating right now? No, not right now. I did go on the date, uh, like back at the end of January, but yeah, that nothing happened after that. Okay, why do you why the Paul why the Pauls in dating? That'd be my last relationship related question. Why the Pauls in dating? Well, I um, I gotta admit that like uh, 
um, the the girl I went on a date with, uh, I really liked her. And so like, since that didn't really turn into anything. So that was a bit of a downer. So I um, built my, um, like just kind of in the phase of like building myself back up. Okay. Um, and, you know, building myself back up, like, it, well, I'm not saying I was heartbroken or anything, but it was like, um, I will say, uh, just now focusing on me, just put it like that. And then once I feel like I'm ready, then I'll, uh, you know, give it another attempt. Okay. All right. So that, that, that doesn't sound like a big answer to brothers. He's not really uh, on the, on the hunt right now, right now he's just being social. So I can, I can respect that. So let me ask you some deep questions, Andre. Uh, what do you really care about? Like what's important, <clears throat> what's important to you? Um, definitely you know care about family and stuff and um being able to maintain a roof over my head and everything else food you know keep being able to eat pretty much like you know a lot of the basics okay all right uh what's your greatest accomplishment and what are you still hoping to accomplish <laughs> um I know these are some some deep questions. These are trying to get, we're trying to get to know people, you know what I mean? Beyond the beyond the surface level. Um greatest accomplishment. Uh shoot, man. Um I I guess to, just to make it easy for me right now, uh, I guess I would say I, I guess the degree, college degree. Um wasn't really easy to get into college for me. So I guess I could say that. Um, but um an accomplishment I would like, I, you know, would like to start like a little side gig or a business or whatever, you know, just try that out. Um, like I, uh, I remember I was getting uh, my tags done. I was like, this, this does not look hard. And the guy who was doing my tags, he said, it isn't. So I was like, yeah, I wonder if I could like set up one of those like little tag stations or something. Mm -hmm. So I don't how, know, something like that. Okay. How, how long you been in Atlanta? Oh, like uh, we moved down here night since like 1996, so I've been down here for a while. Okay, okay, it's pra practically home. Uh, yes, sir. Let's see here, let's see here. If you weren't in your current profession, what would you be doing? Is that what you were talking about with the uh, like starting a, a business, doing like tags and stuff? Yeah, yeah, pr probably starting businesses, but also filming television. I uh, like being behind the camera. That was that's it's pretty fun. Mm hmm. All right. All right. Thanks. So that's, that's brother Andre from Maryland. Uh, he, he's here uh, looking for platonic friends right now. Just trying to socialize. Uh, y'all, y'all say what's up to Andre 36 years old. Uh, welcome to the group, man. It, it's good. Have you, we've been doing a lot of kickbacks, man. We got a, a kickback, um, uh, uh, March 18th at, at, at Clarence house. I saw Clarence pulled up here earlier, uh, with EK, he pulled up with the, uh, with the jokes. But uh, yeah, we're gonna be kicking back. It's gonna be a good time. If you can make it out, that'll be a good good time. And otherwise, man, we got other stuff on the calendar, man. It'll be good to good to see you in person, Andre. Likewise, I, I look forward to it, and I uh, really appreciate what y'all doing here. All right, all right, thanks, brother. All right, so we just had a brother. Let's we'll see, we could probably do two more people, y'all, before we wrap it up. We might do maybe three more, or maybe just one more. I don't know. We'll just see how it goes. Let's see here. Do we got any other ladies want to introduce? Okay, we got, uh, oh yeah, I forgot. I almost skipped over you, Shamika. We got, Sh Shamika was, uh, she had her hand back up, Melissa. Oh, we got a few people with their hands up. I don't know what's going on with my thing. Let me, uh, okay, let's do Shamika because her hand was up earlier and Zoom was uh, messing up for her. So we'll give, we'll give Shamika a shot and we'll, uh, we'll try, we'll let y'all, matter of fact, we'll let y'all three go. And no, it wasn't until midnight. I just got a message. It's midnight's too long, y'all. I don't, I don't got that kind of stamina at my age, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> We'll let these three people go, and then we'll uh, then we'll wrap it up. All right, Shamika, tell us, tell us, tell us, tell us your name, what part of Atlanta you're in, and where you're from. Right. Well, hey everyone. Um, I again, I am Shamika. Um, I am originally from Ohio, um, small town, Youngstown. Um, I currently live in the Shamley Brookhaven area. Um, I think this is where I'm at. I'm not sure. It's it's somewhere off that Claremont line. Um, and uh, what was the other question again? I'm sorry. Uh, where are you from? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I'm from Youngstown, Ohio. Uh, I came Ohio, to Atlanta three years ago. The Chambly area. Yeah. How old are you and do you have any children? Uh, I am 28 and no children. 
28, no children from Ohio. She lives in Chambly. Let me ask you this. Uh, what's, what's the most trouble you've ever been in? Oh, <laughs> all right. So when I was like, um, I was, I was in this high school slash college program when I was like ninth to 12th grade. So even though I was in high school, I was still taking like college courses. Mm -hmm. So what had happened was, um, I was cheating on this test <laughs> and the professor caught it and then like, it went up against the board. And I almost was this close from being expelled, but Ooh. the principal actually liked me because uh, we had like a, a good rapport. And I was in like school, I would always go say what's up or whatever. So they let me go by a landslide. So yeah, but you're, but you're not a cheater anymore. You don't. You know, <laughs> no, not me. It was it was a it was a science test, and I was not that good at science. You know, I was like what 15. So yeah, right, respect, respect. I can respect that. <laughs> you're trying to you're trying to uh. Trying, I was trying, trying to pass. To, there you go. You're trying <laughs> to pass. I feel you. And, you know, I think, you know, at the time when I was coming to school, everybody was cheating on everything. Yeah. Uh, the fact yeah. that you got caught is just a, you know, <laughs> Yeah, they, it, it was a whole thing. I got to tell y'all over a drink one day, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind, smart, or attractive, what would you rather people, what would you rather be known, perceived as? Um, and we can't say all three. Mm -mm. Um, I would say kind. Typically, because that's what people know me as anyway. Um, but also, I think personality really matters. Um, so if people don't see you as kind, just kind of like, well, what else are you if you're not kind? So I would say that. Um, and plus, that's kind of more aligned with my personality anyway. So I wouldn't mind, it, you know, people thinking the same thing. Okay, so everybody in our group wants to be known as kind folk. Okay, I can respect yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what movie or show do you keep rewatching? Um, I actually don't watch much TV. Um, I say the last thing that I did watch was C on, um, it's Apple TV. It's been a couple of months. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know if you ever heard of that show. It's, uh, basically about a society of people that are blind and they try to navigate the world and all that crazy stuff. So, yeah. Yeah. I haven't heard of it, but that, that, that does yeah. sound interesting. I mean, it's a good show with Jason Samoa. So. Okay. That's why you watch yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let me ask you this. Are you uh single and ready to mingle or are you just looking for platonic friends you're not dating right now? I am actively single and ready to mingle. I'm, All right. I'm tired of being single. <laughs> so yeah. David said amazing show. Thanks, Davis. So I appreciate you pulling up. Uh let's see here. So what sort of man or woman are you looking for, Shamika? Um, well, I am looking for men. Um I I don't really necessarily like have a type. Um, I just, I think one of the things that I'm looking for is somebody that's specifically designed just for me, mm. if that makes any type of sense whatsoever. Um, I don't have like a list or a criteria that someone should meet. Um, so just, you know, if we vibe and, you know, you know, we're supposed to be together and I think it's going to come together naturally. So what about height? Does height matter? No, because I'm only 4'11". <laughs> Ooh, <shorty>. So 99% <laughs> of men are taller than me. So well, height, Height's not a factor. Uh, what about weight, body shape, or looks? Um, so I do have to be attracted to you. Um, just like I'm pretty sure that I have to be attracted, you know, attractive to someone else. Um, so with weight, it's... Um, so I'm currently on a weight loss journey as well. So far, I've lost over 212 pounds naturally. Oh, wow. Congratulations. Um, and so with uh, obesity and things like that, um, it's a um, underlining issue. Um, and it has to be someone, if they do have a weight problem, that we can actively work towards it together. Um, but however, if there are behaviors such as like overeating and things like that, um, then we can't be together because I don't want you to kind of bring me down with you. It's kind of like, you know, a recovering drug addict dating somebody else that's currently on drugs does that make sense mm -hmm, yeah. so that's kind of like where i'm at with it so. okay so somebody yeah so somebody is not a not a huge factor but the fact if they are overweight or whatnot there's something they have to be working on right right got you okay so uh does income matter i would say stable um because i think that it you I mean if you're you know a school teacher and you make forty five thousand a year and you're stable and you're not scrambling to pay your bills and you're able to, you know, um, use money management. Um, it's fine. Um, 
So that's kind of like where I'm at with that. That makes sense. So yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, who pays for dates? So the first couple of dates, I, I do prefer the man to pay. You know, I just I like a man to lead. So you know, ask me out. You know, take me out on the next couple of dates. You know, and then maybe after your second or third date, then I'll you know invite you out and I'll pay for something or um, you know we kind of navigate through that. Okay, yo, we got some real, real reasonable people in here tonight. I don't know what be going on out here on on the, <laughs> these dating websites, stuff like that. But everybody seems to be reasonable for the most part. What about sex? What's your position on sex? A great question. And uh, y'all, you mentioned it like five times, and I was thinking about it the entire time. Um, <laughs> so I'm definitely not a ninety day person, but I'm not a one week person either. Um. I think it's just depending on the intentions of both of us. So, um, and that comes through communication. So if you have the intent of just wanting friends with benefits, then we should talk about that. Um, Cause I don't want to give my body to someone and they have no intent to possibly be in a relationship down the line. Um, but typically, you know, I prefer a vibe, you know, and if it, if it goes well and we happen to, you know, hit it off after a couple of weeks and Hey, you know, um, yeah, so <laughs> I know that's kind of like. Would it matter if y'all were in a relationship or out of a relationship, or just it's just completely on the vibe? Of, uh, I prefer to be in a relationship, not married, but like in a relationship or leading towards that. Okay, okay, respect. Uh, what makes you a good catch? Now, I'm I'm don't mean to rush through these, but we got a a, mm -hmm. a few more people, and we we uh we starting to get a little late. Uh, what makes you a good catch for the person you want? Um, I am very uplifting and motivating. Um, so not only just everybody around me, but to a specific partner, um, you know, any type of goal that, you know, he wants to achieve, I'm always going to be supportive and uplift him in that. I don't believe in the, in the, um, the naysaying or down or self doubt. Um, so if he says, Hey, I want to open up a business or what, okay, like, okay, let's do some research. Let's figure it out. Here's information. Like, you know, you can do this type person. So. Okay. Respect. Respect. Let's see. Somebody had a question here. Do, 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 do. Do, do. I, I wouldn't even know how to answer that uh, to, to that DM question there. But uh, what's if somebody wants to reach out to you, Shamika? What's the uh, what's the best way they can do that? I would say social media. Um, I have an Instagram. It's also my weight loss page, but I'll, it's personal as well. Um, it's at t h e four two one movement m-o-v-e-m-e-n-t um again it's at t-h-e-421 movement um and friends you're more than welcome to hit me up as well I don't mind all right all right all right thank you shamika all right let me see here. who do we have next let me see here that was uh melissa what's up melissa oh clarence did you want to go clarence hi i'm here Good night, everybody. Hey, let me, Clarence, did you want to go? Maybe not. I'm trying to do guy, girl, guy, girl. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. Go ahead, Clarence. We'll, we'll, we'll get back. We'll do you. Uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll uh, do, we're like in speed round now. Clarence, if you could, what's up? Oh, am I on? Yep, yep, yep. yep, right. yep right. Right. Where you, uh, what part of Metro Atlanta are you from and where are you from? Yeah, I know where I'm at now. I'm from the uh, south side of Atlanta, so southeast side of Atlanta, to be exact, uh, Stockbridge. Uh, some may have been to my place before. I'm sorry, I'm driving home somewhere. Let me just turn this light in here so y'all can see me. Yeah. Um, boy, I'm doing some illegal shit right now. But anyway, uh, <laughs> I live in uh, Stockbridge, Georgia, so that's southeast of Atlanta. How I'm old are you and any children? I'm 30. Uh, 39 next week. Ah, look up your meetup. 39 next week. Uh, I'll be uh, the 16th of March, 39, and no kids. Right, bike Yard Boogie, y'all pull up. This is the our host for the Bike Yard Boogie, Brother Clarence. Uh, so I, I'm going to, I'm I'm just because the time is short, I'm going to suspense with the icebreakers, Clarence, and ask you, are you single and ready to mingle, or are you just looking for friends right now? Um, I'm definitely, I'm, I feel like I'm always single and ready to mingle. Uh, I have kind of scaled back slightly on wanting to like engage in anything. And that's just more so just 
I just felt like I was always ready, but then it just like think it, I was always ready, but I feel like the, the the field wasn't ready. And now that I feel like the field is ready, I'm not ready. But I would say that I am still mingling. I am single, and I do mingle. And again, if the right opportunity comes, I'm not. I will not deny it. So. All right. So that's a vague answer. And that counts as single and ready to mingle. <laughs> so what sort of uh, what sort of man or woman are you looking for? Oh, hold on. Um, sorry, I'm not Pedro, but uh, uh, the type of woman I'm looking for. Um, just say a woman that who is who is that a woman? A woman who is this that a woman? I'm looking for somebody who and I guess in a sense, every once in a while, you know, just. You know, you always have a yin, yin and yang type of relationship that, you know, sometimes the things that I fail, or I'm not going to say fail in, but qualities in that she she's very strong in, mm-hmm. or something like that. Kind of like, a, I guess you could say a yin and yang type of, uh, type of movie, you know. Whereas I'm strong in some areas that she's not, she's weak in, and she's strong in some areas that, and I think, again, working together, making that, you know, working together and making that uh, something that we can really build towards something. You know, I think, again, we had a yin and yang relationship, you know, I, I feel like that's a pretty good thing, too. So something something like that. I, I, I kind of get what you're saying. You look for somebody who balances you out. Um, there you go. Yeah, there you go. There, the balance. Uh, yep. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't been drinking. Yeah, <laughs> oh, balance, yeah. You already had people scared. People scared about your driving. <laughs> Then you was now you uh you was drinking. <laughs> oh, I see the I see this driving proper now, but yeah, but uh um I would say definitely definitely always an even balance, you know. But you y'all y'all say a prayer for for Clarence that he makes it safe. Hey, uh, I'm about three right. minutes from home, so <laughs> okay, he's almost home, so we we all right. All right, so does height matter? And I'm six three, so uh, apparently uh not really. I mean, there you go. So girls, could... I love short girls. So. Sure, right. girl. I love I love tall. I trust me. I absolutely love tall girls too. So, I mean, again, I'm six three. So, I don't meet too many girls I know that are taller than me. So. Does a uh, weight, body shape, or looks matter? Weight wise, I guess. I mean, unless it's, it's within a healthy weight or at least a manageable weight, obviously, yes. Um, again, height. Again, I'm six three, so even if you are six three or above, which you know I think it's like one percent of women are like that. I don't know which percent you are, but you know, well I do, I slightly do, but yeah, anything like that obviously is fine. Um, height wise, I don't necessarily count that. Weight wise, it's just the manageable weight. So she can have a little meat on her bone, but she just can't be. Yeah, not protest in sense, but no, this is manageable. I mean. Obviously, you know. What about skinny? You asked me this question about 15 years ago. I probably would have said, but today, oh yeah. Okay, skinny, little bit on bone. He so he's, he has some flexibility. Just got to be within <laughs> health, uh, healthy parameters. Does a woman's income matter? No, I mean income never really necessarily matters with with man and woman. But uh, no, no. I would say no. I mean, can we do something with your income? Oh, absolutely right. But it's not this, the, oh, if she don't make a specific amount, I'll never date her. No, it's, it's nothing like that. I mean, again, if she makes a certain amount of money and we can work with that together, oh, hell you, you know, but it's not, it's not, it's not a deal breaker. What about children? Like if a woman has children. So I'll be 39 next week. Uh, preferably speaking, no children. Um, I was always told one or few. Uh, one child or less. Okay, I can accept that. Okay, so more no than child that, or no child, and you don't have no children, than, right? No, I don't have no children. And the only reason why I would say that is because, again, with me not having any children, it's more of. I think some of us can can, can agree to this, and maybe, maybe yourself too. This is. You know, I guess the longer you live life without kids, the more selfish you become. You know what I mean? and, and selfish, not necessarily in a bad way, but selfish in a way of 
you're so used to being by yourself and taking care of yourself that you know it's kind of hard to now all of a sudden not only I get in a relationship with a woman who I uh into a relationship with a woman but now I get in a relationship with a woman who I have to take care of you know and take care of her and then and then her child too so now that's becoming it's like a two two for one Oh, you froze up, Clarence. Clarence might have, uh, we might have lost Clarence. But y'all, y'all's Clarence is always around in the mix. I think we lost him. His, he was uh, driving, so he, he might have hit a bad spot. Preferably spot. speaking, though. Okay, there we go. You back. Let me, uh, let me, uh, oh, I'm getting, oh, I'm getting. Back. I'll go ahead. Test, test. All right, cool. Uh, uh what's your position on sex? <laughs> Like oh yeah, I, I heard you say this question before. What what, what, what do you mean by that? Like um, uh, like sex. Uh, when do you expect sex? Like sex when dating, sex in a relationship, the time frame, uh, marriage before marriage, after marriage. You got any position on that? <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> I feel like this. Uh, as far as the sex question goes, I think. Look, here's the thing about that. How many of us are willing to walk into a relationship and 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 dismiss sex altogether all the way through? And I think a lot of us are not going to do that, if not all of us are not. So at some point, yes, sex is be sex is the most important thing. One of the most important things of a relationship. Let's just call it what it is. It's not bullshit that fact. So yes, ultimately speaking, yes, at some point you 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 expect sex. Um, more so is it first date. Wise, no, but you know, at some point, let me get my car so you can see me. So at some point, yes, you you do expect it. I mean, I think let's not dismiss it and act like well, it doesn't exist or it doesn't matter and just that and the other. It does. Guys, y'all. So skating, I think at some point down the line, questions. yes, um, that's something that you 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 want to address and you want to make sure you know that you like it and whatnot. Oh. Make sure I'm in the house. Um, <laughs> something that you do like and 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 and. and Kind of go from there. So yes, I I I, I think that's kind of what you were asking, me, right? So where I would, <laughs> yeah, you mm -hmm. kind of skated on it. I, I was kind of like, when do you expect it? And you was like, oh, when I okay, it. no, 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 I, they say expect it. I'd say, look, if it's somebody that you really like, you 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 gotta expect it. Not necessarily the first date, but sometime within the first three dates. <laughs> At some point, you know, hey, this person. I want to, you know, incorporate in my life more than just, you know, I guess in a sense, having a cat, not, not a casual type of thing, kind of have a pinship type of thing, a pin pal ship type of thing. Hey, I want to move forward with this person. So, you know, by a third date, I think you definitely should know if this is the person or not. If not, then, hey, you know, you pull back. I think me and you agree, kind of agree with the whole friendship thing. Hey, if you, if you, see somebody that you want to be romantically and interested in and they don't have that interest back, you need to kind of cut the contact. So, you know, by the third day, you should know that. All right. Erica said, tell it. So she signed she on the same page as you. All right. So, <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that had me cracking up. All right. <laughs> what makes you a good catch for the person you want? Hey, hang on one second. Let me in. I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying to get the uh, speaker on. <laughs> what makes you a good catch for the person you want? Which makes me the catch. What makes you Shit, a good catch me? For the I think, you man, the hell, hell, you talking about? I makes me. Uh, no. Nah. <laughs> Which makes me the catch? Um. Woo. I would just say, if I'm the type of person that you like. Um, again, I think a lot of people know me, you know, look, I'm, I'm, I'm very, po I feel like I'm a very positive person. I'm a very person that, you know, yeah, I tend to, I might, in some cases, some people may, might not like how I, you know, how I might stretch the, stretch the envelope a little bit on, 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 on being playful, but you no, know, I, I, that's just how I am. If I'm not positive, if I'm a positive person, that's great. If I can make you put a smile on your face, that's beautiful for me. Catch for me, I probably would say, you know, just I am who I am. Um, if you can accept that, we can build on that. We can go from there. All right. Now, you got any questions for Clarence? 
Um, did you say that you would date somebody with kids? One or less. Oh, one or less. Okay. Uh, what, what would you say are your hobbies for the people that are in, interested? My hobbies are just sitting at home all day, not do nah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Okay. No, hobbies are uh a little good. I think for all y'all who've met me, y'all know I love sports. Um I'm a big sports guy. Yeah, I think y'all should know that by now. So um I love sports. Um I love cars. Actually, I'm going to the car show in a couple of weeks. I might need a date, but uh <laughs> I love cars, love sports, love traveling. Uh, road trips is one of the big things that I like to do, and love water park. I love, love things near water, beaches, water parks, those type of things. Yeah, I guess you can add that on there. All right, Clarence. So, how, if people want to re- get in contact with you, what's the best way? Uh, come, come next weekend to the. <laughs> the <laughs> Uh, one best thing is I think some of y'all are, are, do follow me on Instagram, uh, MidwestBoy84. That's probably my, I think I developed that name in college. So MidwestBoy84 is probably the best way to find me. Yeah, that's Instagram. I believe Twitter. Yeah, I think I'm on Twitter too. Yeah, I've, ne- I've neglected Twitter for so but long. Instagram's but, the best way. Yeah, but Instagram is the best way. Uh, get that, that IG for us one more again, Clarence. Oh, Midwest Boy 84. Midwest Boy 84, Clarence, uh, turning 39. Uh, he doing a kickback uh, uh, weekend after next, March 18th. Y'all pull up. Y'all y'all hear what uh, Clarence is about, what he's looking for. Well, that weather might make things a little bit difficult, but uh, okay, yeah. So we got to play. We're going to play that one by ear. All right. Thanks, Clarence. Hey. Uh, let me go ahead and get Melissa in here. What's up, Melissa? Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Ready? I want to hear that one. Yeah, yeah. Get her in here. <laughs> All Wait, right, so Clarence is looking. Clarence is trying to find out about you. All right, so where you uh where where you at in, uh, Metro ATL and where you from? Um, I'm in Marietta, Georgia. Okay, where you where you from? Okay, so I am originally from Trinidad and Tobago. I was born and raised there, but I lived in New York for many years. So I got a little New York island twang. <laughs> All right. Uh, how old are you? Do you have any children? I am 41 and I have two kids. 41, two kids from Trinidad, you said? Originally, yeah. uh, spent some time in New York. All right. Uh, so, and because we're short on time, I'm just going to ask you, uh, Melissa, are you single and ready to mingle or are you just looking for friendship right now, platonic friendship? Uh, single and mingling, but the friendship thing is important for me. So I think um, single and ready to mingle. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. What sort of what sort of man or woman are you looking for? A man. I'm looking for a consistent man, an honest man, um, a supportive man, a provider, somebody who has their head on straight. You know, somebody who's about their business. Consistent, honest, supportive, and who has his head on straight. Does height matter? I'm short, so he's gonna be taller than me anyway. Uh, how tall are you? I'm like five three. Okay. Uh does mm-hmm. weight, body shape, or looks matter? Uh no, not really. I've dated all types. Okay, so ugly, handsome don't matter. Uh <laughs> all right, all right. I uh, mean personality is important. So okay. if you have a good personality. And we vibe in, you know, the looks don't necessarily have to be there, but you may be an honest person. So it depends, you know? Okay. I can respect that. Uh, let's see. What about income? Um, income is important. You need to have a job um, for sure. Have some sort of income coming in, um, be able to stand on his own feet, you know? Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Just stable. Okay. Uh, what about children? Uh, children, I don't mind children. Whether he has children or not, it's fine by me. Okay. All right. Uh, what? Who pays for dates? The first couple of dates, he would need to pay. <laughs> All right. I think he should, but I don't mind paying for dates later on in the future. You know, I've like, done that. Before. Like a give and take after that, but the first few dates, you oh yeah. Pay. Okay. Yeah. What what's your what's your position on sex within while dating and relationship? Where where you where you stand on that? 
these questions again. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> dating, I feel like the sex thing, once you're vibing, you're dating with somebody a couple days of, of, out of the week, you're seeing each other often, whether it's six months to three months or whatever the case is, it all depends on the vibe and the connection. So if it's there, why not go ahead and do it? Okay. Just depends on the vibe and connection. All right. Yeah. Uh, depends so, on, you know, all of that. Okay. What, so what makes you a good catch for the person you want? I have a good personality. I'm funny, um, hardworking, supportive, um, just fun and bubbly to be around, smart and all of that good stuff. How old are your kids? I forgot. And I can cook. There we go. That's that's, that's huge for for a lot of dudes. Let me ask you a non-relationship question. Oh, how old are your kids? 12 and 16. 12 and 16. Let me ask you a non-relationship question. What are you most proud of about yourself? I was the first in my family to go to college, get my master's degree and my license. Okay, we got an educated woman, y'all. All right, so that's that's Melissa. Welcome to the group, Melissa. It's, it's good to have you. I'm Cardo. I'm the uh, the organizer of the group. Uh, it's good to meet you. Um, I hope that you can make it to some of our events in the future. She's 41, two kids, single and ready to mingle, uh, originally from Trinidad, uh, by, uh, but spent some time in New York. So now how long you been in, in Georgia? This year will make it three years. Three years. Okay. And she seems like in terms of what she's looking for, what she wants, she's pretty flexible as, as a lot of our ladies were. So, uh, respect, yeah. respect to the ladies. Uh, and she's just all about, and a lot of ladies seem like they were kind of flexible on the sex thing too. It's just, it's just about the vibe, the feeling. If it's there, it's there. If it's not, it's not. So nobody has a little hard and fast rules. It seems like, uh, Nat, did you have any questions for Melissa? Yeah. Um, in terms of dating people with kids, what's the youngest you'll do? Um, I never thought about that. Usually when dating folks, they either have no kids or their kids are older. What's the youngest I'll do? I don't know, really. Um, I don't think it's really like a big deal with me once, you know, there's no baby mama drama and all that other stuff because ain't no drama over here. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Melissa. It's, it's, it's nice to meet you, ma'am. Nice to meet you guys. All right. Now, welcome to the group. We got our, our final person of the night, Catrice. Tell, tell us, uh, Catrice, uh, where, what part, where are you from? What part of Atlanta are you currently in? Um, hi, good evening, everyone. Um, so I am in Douglasville um, currently, and I just relocated to Atlanta from South Florida in September. So oh, I'm like sort of brand new to the area. So I'm excited to close, close us out tonight because I'm actually looking for friends and single and ready to mingle. Okay. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> well, how old are you? And, uh, and do you have any children? I'm I'm 38. Uh, I had to think about that because I just turned 38. Sagittarius, if that matters to anyone. Um, so I'm 38 and I have no children. Um, 38 Sagittarius uh, uh, from uh, South Florida. Uh, been in Atlanta since September. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to, because we're short on time, Catrice, I'm just going to forego all the uh, icebreakers and just, and you already answered uh, that you're single and ready to mingle, but you're also looking for friends too. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll do a mix in there. Let's see here. She said, whoop, whoop, Sag in the house. Shamika must be a fellow Sag. Yeah, Sagittarius. Uh, we're, we're good people. Tawana, Sag. Okay, we got some Sagittarius in the house. <laughs> um, so what the sort 21st, of man? Shamika. I'm sorry to interrupt you. No, you good. What sort of man or woman are you looking for? Um, I'm looking for a man that's in, intelligent, um, funny, witty. I want him to be spiritual on some level, have a good moral compass. That's really most important to me. Um, I would like for him to be altruistic because I'm like that. You know, I give my last. Um anyone really and um just like for him to be an overall good person 
Okay. And Melissa, I forgot to ask you uh, if you, if how do people get in contact with you, Melissa, if you can drop it in the chat there and I'll read it out, Melissa, if you're still here, uh, just in case people want to get in contact with you. Okay. Re and repeat those real quick for me again, Catrice, what you're looking for in a guy, just those uh, points you listed off. Right um, intelligence. I want him to have a sense of humor, be spiritual, at least, um, if not religious, um, and have a good moral compass, be altruistic altruistic and um that's pretty much it i just want him to be a good person and be intelligent that's important to me spiritual doesn't matter like what what us what a spirituality is like if he's a, a muslim or a, a buddhist or something like that um it doesn't it's not a deal breaker to me if he's of a different religion but if he wants me to convert or something because i'm christian but not super religious so um, if he expects me to convert, that's probably not going to happen. So um, if he's a Muslim, but loose, like I don't have to convert to Islam, then mm -hmm. that's fine with me as long as we can um, get along and agree upon, you know, the essentials. Right. So just as long as he just has like a spiritual thing, he's he's kind of guided by a higher higher purpose. Yes. And has a good moral compass. That's really what's most important to me. Okay, if y'all want to reach out to Melissa, is they call me underscore Melly, M E L L I E dot M E L on Instagram. They call me Melly Mel on Instagram. Uh, does height matter? No, height doesn't matter because, like most of the other women said, I'm pretty short. I'm 5'2. Okay, so see, no, not a lady said that not, we don't, the six foot thing is not apparently not really a thing at least not with the ladies in our group because we guys hear that all the time and a lot of guys i think are uh self-conscious about that on on the back end so it is good to hear from <clears throat> hear from a lot of ladies who is not a not a huge factor what about uh weight body shape or looks do 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 those matter and to what extent um it doesn't matter that much to me um i want him to be healthy so if he's um overweight or obese with like tons of health issues then that's with tons if he's overweight or obese with tons of health issues and no plans to become healthier then that's a deal breaker for me um because i mean i want children and i want us <laughs> to be there for our children so um that's it and i want a partner for life um so that would be a deal breaker for me um but um, so no, um, I'm loose in the, um, I guess body shape category, but I want you to be healthy. Okay. Okay. Respect. Uh, does income matter? It's a tough one because I, I struggle with this in thinking about it myself. Um, no, I think at this point, income doesn't matter to me, but I would like for him to be able to provide for himself and to be able to provide for me if we were, I mean, provide for us if we were serious. And at that point, I want to be confident that, um, I mean, that he'll figure out a way to get it um, if something happens to me and I can't, you know, and I can't keep us afloat or I can't, um, um add to our income and yeah i just want him to be a go-getter somebody that's ambitious and will make things work out for us um if he has to okay all right respect uh how tall are you i'm only five two okay uh i, I forgot to ask that earlier um mm -hmm. does uh kids matter like if he has children or not no, that doesn't matter to me. Um, little kids are kind of like, um, I would say like if the kid is like below five or maybe like, I mean, definitely if it's like an infant or whatever, that's kind of sketchy because I'm wondering what the situation is with the, um, with the other um, parent. Um, so uh, no, I don't mind him having kids in general. The only my only concern would be um, his relationship. What's the um, status of the relationship with the other parent? Do you want children? Yes, I do. Okay. I I would like at least one biological child, but like my cutoff for that, I guess, would be forty five, unless I decide to 
do something scientific to help me. <laughs> I got you. Uh, what? Who pays for dates? Um, the first few dates, um, the gentleman, um, I would expect him to pay. Um, but I'm someone who is very reasonable in that. Like, I mean, I also am someone who like, I mean, I take care of myself fully, um, as well as other people sometimes. Um, so like if, if we go someplace that's like, I know it's like really expensive, like I might, I may offer to at least leave the tip or whatever. Um, so, but, um, in, in general, I expect the um, gentleman to pay for the first few dates. Okay. Somebody just sent me a message telling somebody else to check your DM. So y'all, if y'all, if y'all hopped up on camera, uh, make sure y'all check y'all DMs after this just to see what's up. See, uh, see what people talk, you know, see if anybody got in your DM. Sometimes I know sometimes people mute their notifications, but somebody wanted me to put it out there that, you know, check your DM. Uh, let's see here. Okay. So that was, the date question. Uh, what's your position on, on sex, Catrice? Um, so in regards to sex, I mean, I don't have any hard rules, but um, definitely there has to be a vibe and a connection there. And whenever that comes, it comes. Um, that's basically my position on that. Okay, so there has to be a vibe and connection whenever it comes, it comes. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that can be that can be three days, like Clarence said, if the vibes there, or it can be two, or it can be like <clears throat> three months or whatever. Just depend on the vibe. Yeah, depends on the vibe. Depends on the vibe. But I'm someone who kind of believes, like, <laughs> not believes, but I mean, I definitely need a test ride before we make a commitment for life. <laughs> okay, okay. So she she trying to see what's up. <laughs> uh, so what, what makes you a good catch Catrice for the person that you want um I think um I'm a great person I'm very compassionate um very compassionate I'm smart um I you know I care a lot about other people in general I mean I guess that's com being compassionate um I mean that's that's pretty much what makes me a um, great catch i'm an around the way girl i'm very laid back despite um uh, being someone that put on a little bit of makeup for this event but i just like to put my best foot forward in the situation oh, yeah. respect i respect that thing and thank you and i appreciate you for doing that that's uh that's, that's <laughs> key. uh let me ask you a non-relationship question here uh right. so what's what's your greatest accomplishment and and uh what are you still hoping to accomplish Oh man. So I was hoping not to get this question <laughs> only because, I mean, I feel like, I mean, it really doesn't matter to me. Um, the fact that I have a master's degree, that's not a, not a big deal, but I guess that would be my greatest accomplishment, um, so far, but really to me, a greater accomplishment and a goal that, well, not a goal, but something that I hope to achieve is to, um, you know, have, black love and a black family and have a white picket fence and that's really what i want most in life so um prayerfully that happens for me all right respect respect and thank you so much catrice and welcome to the group i saw you just just joined the group me not not too long ago so it, it is mm -hmm. good to have you uh let me formally introduce myself i'm cardo it's nice to meet you welcome to georgia i know you've been here since september but welcome all the same and y'all y'all okay. heard it y'all heard from katrice she doesn't seem like she's looking for you know she's not a lot none of the ladies really are really asking for uh too much i don't think it, they all seem kind of reasonable even the guys too everybody seems we got a real practical practical group of folks i, I would say on average the one thing that i noticed from people tonight is that the kids thing was kind of like the uh the dividing line for a lot of people, like a lot of people, they just can't do kids or if they do kids, it could just be a few. So people have really have their uh, stances on that. And some people, it, it's not a huge factor just long as, you know, uh, just depends on people's circumstances. So that was the one thing that I did notice, but overall, everybody just kind of uh, seems to be reasonable. Uh, David said a few kids is crazy. <laughs> a few kids is crazy. It depends on, it depends on people where, they're, where they're at, you know, like somebody has a few kids themselves. I think that they, uh, their expectation too, is that a person, uh, may or may not have a few kids and some people, I, I should have asked through the question there asking more people if they're looking to have more children down the future. 
But it, anyway, overall, I just want I want to thank everybody. I think this was a good time. It was uh, I thought this would be something nice for us to get to know each other uh, on a different level uh, because we don't have meetups every week. Uh, so it's good to have something in there to fill the void, to figure out who are people in the group and to kind of get to know people on a, on a deeper level uh, to kind of see where people at. And overall, it seemed like a lot of people are in the group are a single and ready to mingle. So I think that's a good thing. And uh, we'll try to do events in the future to really cater to y'all, but we'll, we'll try to do like a low pressure type thing. And there's always opportunities. If you haven't been to any of our in-person events, we definitely, when, 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 when we do them, please, please, please take advantage of them because of, uh, you know, uh, they, they come around ever so often. They're not like super frequent. So take advantage of them when they're, when they're out there. Uh, so just go ahead and y'all tap in and plug into the group. Thank y'all all for coming out. Nat, did you have any questions for Catrice, Nat? Um, yeah, I had just one. Um, was she looking to be married or interested in finding a man that wants to be married? Is marriage a, a factor for you, Catrice? Do you want to be married or do you just want to be in a relationship or what, what's your, uh, what's your goal? Patrice, she's trying to figure it out. So she just hopped off mute, then popped back on. Now she's back on mute. I'm here. I'm sorry, my phone's hating. Um, <laughs> so, um, I, I still would pre prefer to be married at this point. Yes. So marriage is important to me. Um, only because it's a contract. There makes it a little harder to run away um so i i would prefer marriage all right thank especially you. if we're going to have children yep thank you so much for mm -hmm. and thank thanks everybody for coming out remember follow us on instagram uh meetups the, the audience on meetup is only so big only so big the group can go so we're trying to figure out ways to kind of uh look at other platforms to kind of grow the group uh, so if, you, if you're on Instagram please please give us a follow uh Catrice if people want to reach out to you contact you what's the best way Um, they can contact me, um, in my DMs on the group me or a meetup, or, I mean, I'm on social media. I'm on, um, I'm on IG, but my name's kind of complicated, complicated. Oh, it's not that complicated. It's just Chow Bella NP. I think there's an underscore in there somewhere, but, um, anyways, you can contact me. <laughs> you don't, you don't have that handy. <laughs> I'm pretty right. easy to find. Like, I'm not secretive on the internet or whatever. My name pretty much is my name everywhere. Catrice A or Catrice Ackerman. There we go. There you go. She's on the group meet. She's in meetup. She's on Instagram, but she is just a little complicated right now to, to, to list off the dome. Uh, our Instagram for the group is positive black PPL on Instagram. Please give us a follow. Thank you, everybody. Y'all have a good, 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 good night. Uh, you know, tap in for one of our in-person meetups, y'all. Good night. Bye. <laughs>